Carry on my wayward son There'll be peace when you are done Lay your weary head to rest Don't you cry no more Okay What is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus. And it's your boy, Don Want to be back in the house once again. All right, you guys. So we're checking out Kansas Carry on Wayward Son. Um, Don is having me check this out. Now, that intro, um, it's, it, you know, these when you hear something put together that well, to me, it immediately sounds like, it just sounds so good, and it feels familiar in a sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm not familiar with Kansas or, like, I was tripping out because uh, last week I did my first reaction to Boston, and you were telling me about Boston and Kansas, and I've been noticing people like, yo, you got to check out Boston and Kansas. I was just tripping out because I never knew there were bands named after Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. I was like, yo, what about Colorado? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyway, so um, we're going to check this out. Again, my underlining question, too, I think I asked this because we did a reaction. I don't know if it released yet, but why are they called Kansas? Are they from Kansas? Yeah, we were kind of contemplating that. So, I don't know. But, all right, we're going to get into this, you guys. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Here we go. 40. 40 year old boys are back in town. 40. All right, y'all, let me get this uh, logo down and pull the video up. Don't forget f to uh, um, support and check out all the original content on the channel. Just dropped a new music video, working on some stuff behind the scenes. And then, um, yo, thank you to all the members for tapping in with us. We appreciate you guys. If you want to become a member, the link's in the description. Uh, you get access to all these reactions early and the stuff we're doing behind the scenes. But, again, thank you guys for helping us keep the lights on. And let's get this one popping. So this is a Carry On Wayward Son. What does wayward mean? Wayward means like, oh God, what's a good way to describe it? Wayward. I always think of it like prodigal son. It's like similar to like a prodigal son. Like wayward means that you've kind of like lost maybe your lost way. your way or that you've been going on in a different direction and, you know, you're returning. Okay. Because, you know, prodigal son, I get it. And that's why I was like, why they call it wayward? Because I'm mm -hmm. not, that's a, a word in my, that's not really in my vocabulary, but it sounds because you, it's two word, like wayward, mm -hmm. but it's wayward. But it's not spelled like word. Like, yeah, yeah that's a word. Like wandering. Yeah, so I was just like, okay, that's interesting. All right, here we go, you guys. This is Kansas. Carry on, wayward son. Carry on, my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. That's kind of like a crazy transition. You know, it's There's two totally different vibes. No, it's three because the intro, which just sounds timeless. Then you go into this riff and then the riff changes back. It's it's like, I don't know. There was a lot going on there. I'm, I, I'm glad you I don't actually, pause this early, but I was like, yo, what the f I just feel like I hit by a train. I'm glad that you brought that up because I actually, you know, I've kind of spoken about this. I've been like learning like drum patterns, playing on a drum machine, right? So hip hop, a lot of the drum patterns are very like, you know, kind of basic, like yeah. straightforward. Uh, house is the same way. It's like a 4-4 four, four beat, pretty, you know, uh, consistent, right? Yeah. So I've been trying to like reach out and like learn new drum patterns and just like just play with them just to see what it sounds like. So it has me listening to music in a totally different way. And so he's got this like faster rhythm that he's playing with the drums, right? Which is the backbeat that they're all, all following. And then he stops yeah. and slows the tempo down and does this totally different drum pattern. 
and then goes back to the original like more up tempo. So yeah, I was like, it, it's got going on it's here? like it's weird because like because I'm like you know starting to learn these different things. It like has me listening to music in a different way. I mean, you caught on to it, but now I'm like, damn, I need to go like learn how to play that drum pattern yeah. just like see like how the notes play out and like what the actual yeah. tempo is well i'm catching on because i'm doing so many reactions yeah i'm actually taking time to really listen to the music yeah. i'm not just like huh this is fire like i'm like yeah. what did it just happen like why are these people great that's why i examine the lyrics too people get mad so anyways let's go let's go sometimes it's hard to like do both yeah you know what i mean yeah because there's so much going on yeah Beyond this illusion, I was soaring ever higher, but I flew too high. Though my eyes could see, I still was a blind man. Though my mind could think, I still was a madman. I hear the voices when I'm dreaming. I can hear them say, Carry on, my wayward self. song is all over the fucking place yeah this is insane this is a really good song like so from the messaging <laughs> from the lyrics i feel like it's talking about a journey right like um it almost feels like some it's it's interesting because I, I could hear when they sing the hook it's almost like you're thinking of like a father singing the hook or god like in in my head that's how mm -hmm. i interpret it. like you know just carry on like you know, and it reminds me of because like when we, I used to tour and it's coming up the mu in the music industry, like really trying to make it as a rapper. Um, one ton would always yeah. tell me I'd be like, yo, how you doing, man? And he would say the same thing every time. You know how it goes. peaks, highs and lows, peaks and valleys. Mm -hmm. And it's just like this journey that as a as a man and, and whoever, you know, but I'm speaking from a man's point of view, like um, seeking to protect, provide and be successful mm -hmm. in life for your family, for your legacy. You, there's these moments where you're like, damn, you want to cry because the times are so low. Then you get these extreme highs. And it was interesting when he's talked about, I kept flying higher. I was thinking of Icarus. I flew too high. Yeah, I was thinking of Icarus because the way he wrote that. But then I was just like, I don't know. This this song is really dope, actually. And the writing is really cool, too. Yeah. You know, I'm tripping because I'm thinking we did Dust in the Wind, right? Yeah. Which is like, you know, a very... Is that I, them too? Was that Kansas that did that? Yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah. These That's dudes why I was are crazy. Like, it's, it's interesting because, again, like when we talk about listening to these songs in a new way, it's like, I, I've heard this song. I know it's a banger. I've played it with, you know, and, and been like, yeah, but then it's like different when you like look at the band in the totality and it's like Dust in the Wind is like a very emotional song about death, right? Mm -hmm. And life, life and death. And then this song almost plays into that to me. Yeah. Because like the it's whole like, journey. Yeah, exactly. The whole journey to, hey. And I didn't I, put them together until we did that reaction. Then I'm like, dude, those songs kind of go together because this song is more about the journey. And you're right. Like, I almost think about it like God or somebody saying like, hey, 
you know, carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. It's like that journey and it's going to be hard and there's going to be tribulations, but just know that at the end of that, the road, you know, when you eventually die, that you will be at peace and it's okay that this is all part of it. Yeah. But even like when he's, I mean, there is so much, you know, in these lyrics, it's so deep. It's like, he's talking about something about confusion and this life of illusion and you know, it's crazy because all these traditions of, of religion talk about this life being an illusion. Yeah. Being out of the world. Now, the, before we get it back into the song, I was going to say this as well. Um, when I first heard the hook and I hear the hook, it sounds so familiar. I feel like I've heard this before, mm -hmm. which is possible in passing, you know, maybe at a barbecue or something. But as I'm listening to these change ups, I have not heard that or not paid attention. And the lyrics, I do not know because mm -hmm. the like people got mad at me. Um, for Hey Jude, my response, uh, my uh, some what, Hey Jude and a couple others yeah. because I was hung up on the lyrics. I was like, to me, this doesn't make sense. But that's what I I like to dissect the lyrics. Yeah. I'm a lyricist rapper, so and sometimes you know. But I really am just enjoying this. This is poetry in motion. It's taking me to a new place. I'm watching them perform, but in the same time, in my mind, I'm on like this journey, like literally seeing someone like. You know, it's almost like watching the last airbender go through all yeah. these different things to find his way. So that's I don't know. I'm really like I would this. love to like have a drummer on here who could break this down, because that's as I'm getting into this, like, you you know, you you have to learn how to keep time. Yeah. And it's so crazy because somebody who's like a legit drummer would be able to hear this and be like, oh, yeah, they're at this tempo. Blah, blah, yeah, blah, this blah. time signature. Yeah, he exactly. And then he switches it here. Now he goes back here. And now because I feel like there's a third time signature that they're doing as well. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's a trip. I like I, I'm not there where I can catch it all yet, but it would be dope to sit down with the drummer who could break it down and be like, OK, this is what they did here. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> All of them are playing instruments. I know. Multiple instruments. Notice no upside down crosses in this video, like the modern artists nowadays. I didn't see no rainbow flags. I didn't <laughs> see nothing, man. I seen some good old wholesome rock stars, man. Yeah. What I like to see. America. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, you guys, uh, this goes in the playlist. Now, this is uh, this is breaking my rules. I can imagine myself on a long road trip playing this. I can imagine myself playing this on the way to the gym. 
Like you're just like, I don't want to go today. And you're like, carry on my way, <laughs> son. But I can also hear this in the gym. Yeah. And I could hear this on. So I always give this a weird thing because it's just in my brain that one day we're going to travel to other planets. Yeah. And in the spaceship, they're what only going to play timeless classics. Yeah. This will be being played on the way to Mars. It's crazy, man, because some of these songs are what, like 40, 50 years old? And and this is one of those joints, like you said, that no matter how many times I play it, it's amazing. Like, it never gets old. It never gets old. And, and it's crazy. That's the thing that's so crazy about music is that unlike almost any other form of media or content, you can listen to it over and over again, and it never gets old. And there's just certain bangers like that, like Bohemian Rhapsody. I mean, there's just like, you know, there's so many songs, but there's something that's just amazing. Just imagine being an artist who creates like a masterpiece like this that just I, I remains. Sh- I mean, I honestly Dude, I believe- struggle with that because I've always wanted to create. Because the other thing is it not only – it's like a lifelong goal of a musician or yeah. artist to create something this yeah. iconic, but then also you will feed your family the rest of your life off yeah. of the royalties. This is true. Like literally one song. Like yeah. I think of that sometimes, but I put that to the back because right now I only create music for the love because I used to chase those type of things. Like I yeah. want to be on TRL. I want to be the biggest rapper, this, that, and the other. Now I'm 44 and uh, I'm just like, bro, I just try to enjoy life. Um, but bro, these man meffers. Bless their soul, man. And I'm seeing a picture of Dust in the Wind. And I'm just thinking about how ridiculous that song is. Anyways, you guys, let us know what we got, what we missed. Fody! Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. F-U-Q-Boy.